माननीय सदस्य श्री यदुवीर वाडियार जी Honorable Speaker, Madam, I thank you for this opportunity to add to the general discussion on the demand for grants for the Ministry for Education for the year 2024-25. Madam, I'm a first-time member of Parliament, and I'm really grateful that my first speech is on education itself. Madam, the vision of the Prime Minister recognizes that education must be amongst the foremost pillars in order to build this Vikshit Bharat. post independence for reasons best known to those in power at the time we continued to persist in the submissive system that was incorporated during the british raj and that same system was strengthened until of course we had a complete transformation and overhaul with the new education policy in 2020 with this overhaul we've had a rekindling of the creative spirit in indian children we've had our own interests and passions set free and most importantly we've been allowed to move on to the path of knowledge which is a central tenet of the bharatiya principle the jnana marga alongside this it is extremely laudable that the global goals that we also have understanding that we are within the global community as well is something that we are also aspiring to with the un sustainable development goals of ensuring quality and equitable education for all madam the demand for grants reflects these especially in the increased spending on education since 2014 we've had an increased allocation of around 4.7% which and in this year particularly is an approximately 7% increase 73000 crores being spent on school education 47619 crores being spent on higher education Madam the demand for grants reflects a further strengthening of the transforming indian education system an emphasis on skill based learning a much needed technology driven teaching environment and an increased investments in the school education system it promises a robust system that will power future generations and build successful careers fulfilling their aspirations madam it's a universal truth that education is a bulwark against perpetuation of poverty amongst weaker sections of society and in this matter the huge impetus given to accessibility to education is something that we must really uh, praise the uchhatra shikshan protsahan yojan the specific mention within the budget of 10 lakhs for helping youth who do not qualify for any other government schemes and policy is an endearing central principle of this government's uh, policy alongside this we know uh, the huge push towards improving infrastructure and quality in schools in the last 10 years itself we've seen the number of universities go up from 400 to 1100 and this budget as well furthers that same ideal the pm shri that is the schools for rising india the national mission in education through ict the malwaya mission teacher program all of which contribute towards enhancing quality through technology based learning have been given a huge push the samagra shiksha program the addition to the world class institutions of nearly 500 crores and the central universities increased spending is reflective of our continued push towards building a robust infrastructure to back up our educational needs madam something that is very important especially from my constituency within myso is the need for this fostering of a spirit of innovation and in this matter it is indeed endearing that the research and innovation initiatives have seen a a market increase from 193 crores to 355 crores alongside this centers for excellence in artificial intelligence the promotion of academic and research collaboration and the grants to multidisciplinary education research and technical education all have received huge push which is indeed much more enduring as well madam this last point is not particularly a part of the ministry of education but is nonetheless very much important because we have finally seen a shift in the perspective in which education needs to be seen from the moment we enter the education system all the way to the point in which we start our careers finally we are looking at it as a continuum and that is indeed laudable and that budget now reflects that as well through uh, to giving us internships in the top 500 companies as well as the prime minister's package for employment as well as skilling madam many i represent the mysore and kodagu constituency 
uh, Mysore as a city has many legacy educational institutions and has made a name for itself in modern times as well as an educational hub. The city, however, I think aspires to greater contributions and we require many more economic drivers. So uh, my, my kind submission to the Minister for Education is to set up a triple IT in Mysore. This will ensure that the educational base for fostering IT hub that Mysore has a potential to become will see be true. Madam, I also represent Kodagu and Kodagu University is one of the newer universities in our state. Uh, given the many climatic events, some that we've seen with our brothers and sisters in Kerala as well, which have uh, created tragedies there. Uh, the, the university being in Kushalnagar can serve as a center for ensuring that uh, climate related, uh, that is uh, climate resilient crops, climate resilient infrastructure can be researched and developed there as well in Kodugu University. And it being at the doorstep of the Western Ghats, it is I think uh, natural that it should be there. Madam, with this I conclude my address uh, on the discussion. I thank once again uh, you for giving me this time.